Hi, welcome back to Glow Up with Shelly. In today's video, I'm gonna go over my newly updated PM skincare routine. This is what I do every single night, except on nights that I do treatments. And y'all know that I really love my PM routine. I never skip a night. So this is what I do on nights where I'm not cosmetically needling or medically microneedling. I'm gonna get into it, tell you all the products I use. I link them all in my Amazon store so you can buy those if you'd like to support the channel. Of course, you're free to get them all on your own if you'd like. So let's get started. Remember, this channel is all about glowing up, transformative skincare, flawless makeup, and a lifestyle to match. If that resonates with you, hit subscribe. Don't forget to ring the notification bell. I want you to know when I post future videos. Okay, so guys, I'm super excited to be sharing my newly updated skincare routine. I have some product switch outs that I'm really loving. So let's go into what I do. First things first, you know I do a double cleanse. I forgot my washes upstairs. I'm just gonna go with it and I'm gonna sh post pictures today. So this is what I use to take my makeup off. It's the Clinique Take the Day Off. I love it. I've tried other balms. I'm not a fan. There's a few I do wanna try, so I will probably try some out and put that in my faves and fails. But for right now, I am sticking to my Take the Day Off by Clinique love it i do that take all my makeup off sometimes i do it twice especially if i'm wearing full glam makeup like when i'm shooting a youtube video when i do my everyday makeup routine sometimes i can get away with just one but most of the time i do that i'm also loving my tatcha rice wash absolutely love that and i use that following my clinique take the day off balm and it is amazing. So I'm also posting a picture of that and I'm linking that in my description box as well. I don't know if I can get it on Amazon, but if not, I'll link that to Sephora. After I wash my face, the first thing I do is I go in with a cotton pad and my glycolic acid. I use this with tretinoin, but I had to work myself up to this. So I use the Tula 10% glycolic acid toner and I just kind of wipe this on my face and let it dry. I kind of let it dry like I'd probably say a good three to five minutes. I don't want to overload because I use an essence and the essence is to add that moisture back in, but this is going to slough off those dead skin cells. AHAs are amazing for getting rid of old dead skin that sits on the surface of your face and it's going to increase cellular turnover and also increase collagen production believe it or not. And it does. I have been using a glycolic acid in my routine for a very long time, but I had to work myself up to it. I have a couple of other acids here, and these are also included in my store if you, and, and other versions of them in my store, if you want to give any of these a try. Lactic acid, I'm a huge fan of. This is what I started with. And then I worked up to glycolic acid and I, you know, you kind of have to work up. Acids are a little harsher on the skin and especially if you use tretinoin like I do and you want to incorporate both because both are great to incorporate. The other wonderful thing about glycolic acid is it's going to help your skincare products penetrate deeper and we know the deeper your skincare products penetrate the better they are. Especially if you have any higher molecular weight products in your routine it's going to help those penetrate into your skin more than if you were to just put them on dry skin. So lactic acid is, an lactic acid is another one you can use and that also helps your skincare products penetrate a little deeper if you are really sensitive and you have like a drier skin you might try a mandelic acid it's a lot lighter but over time it does increase cellular turnover as well and this is going to be a great product i have the ordinary mandelic acid here i love it there are other types of mandelic acid you can get i'll include a couple in my um, aha section of my amazon storefront that I have tried and absolutely love. I can't use this regularly. It's got, I think it's in like an oil and I don't, my skin does not do oils. And I recently tried the Drunk Elephant AHA Plus Peptides and it's got an oil kind of consistency. It has some kind of oil in it. I need to check out the ingredient deck again but that actually made me break out here and here. And I only used it for two days. So 
my skin hates oils it just doesn't agree with oils but those are alternatives if you don't if you're trying to work up to glycolic acid and haven't gotten there yet this is not like the only glycolic acid you can use i also have the ordinary's glycolic acid it's just as good and it's seven percent so it's a little lighter i started with that before i worked up to the ten percent but this is ten percent if your skin can handle it baby, I say do it because this is amazing. Then I wait three to five minutes and I go in with one of my essences, either the Nimbusin, which is another one of my favorites, or the Urea Moisture Lotion. And this is the uh, Sukayaka toner. And I love this toner. And a lot of people love this toner. Rightly, urea acid helps your skincare products penetrate more. It's also very hydrating. It's gonna hold and lock in all that moisture, especially the moisture that you're adding from actives. You really need to be doing an essence, especially if you have dry skin, but even if you don't. Essences, when I found this, my skin, it like took it, it's a game changer. It's a game changer. I need to do a whole video on essences. Let me add that to my very long to-do video list when you work a full-time job. I love doing this, you guys. I wish I could do it all the time, but we're not there yet. So stick with me, we'll make it happen someday. Okay, the next thing that I use is, I've been recently using the Claire's Midnight Blue Youth Activating Drop. You know I'm trying the different EGF serums right now, and this is the one I'm currently on. I haven't tried it long enough to know if it's making a difference in my skin, but I haven't seen a difference so far. I've only been using it for about three days now, so I'll keep you posted on this, but I like the consistency, it's very watery. I put a drop in my hand, put it on my forehead, put a drop in my hand, put it on my cheek, put a drop in my hand, put it on my other cheek, put a drop in my hand and put it on my neck. I feel like for $29, $21 is what this retails for. Someone just told me it dropped in price after I ordered it, of course. So for $21, I say you can afford to put four drops of this on your face morning and night, it's okay. It's much better than the $160 one I bought on my birthday. And it has a better ingredient deck too, but if you wanna check out my EGF video, I list a bunch of different EGF serums that have amazing ingredient decks. I did all the research for you guys, so you don't have to, and I'm trying all of these and I'll report back to you. So I use that and then I go in with my Matrixel Synth 6. This is one of my absolute faves. And the reason it's a fave is it made amazing changes to my skin. Matrixel, made such amazing changes to my skin in tightness, in reduction of fine lines. It, I feel like it totally boosted my collagen and elastin because I noticed a difference after like a month and noticed a huge difference after three months and I have not stopped using it because I can't go without it. It's amazing. And this is a collagen booster. It's a low molecular weight. It's gonna sink more deeply into your skin. And of course you're using that urea and that glycolic acid, so it's gonna sink even deeper, but you wanna let that dry. So let that all dry completely. I wait about 10 minutes, and then I go in with my tretinoin, and I use the agency prescription, but you don't have to use agency. It's a little bit pricier, but it has a combo. It has niacinamide, tretinoin, uh, transexamic acid, that's gonna help with redness and hyperpigmentation, and it's got other things in it that are like gonna help with soothing and help with collagen production, and they really do formulate these for your skin and for the problem areas in your skin so it's a great service to have I am NOT an agency ambassador I do not get agency for free I pay for this out of my own pocket so keep that in mind I do like it but I think tretinoin or retinol are just as good I have a lot of retinols in my Amazon storefront if you don't want to do tretinoin and maybe you're experiencing irritation with tretinoin. This is something you could definitely do like a retinol or a retinaldehyde. I love retinols personally. I think they're amazing for the skin. And I have several that are really, really good. And, and also, you could also use an alternative like a dapoline. And there's a dapoline is in my um, Amazon storefront as well. It's what I used for several years before I could even afford tretinoin. I got really great results with it. And it is a vitamin A derivative as well. And it will make changes to your skin. It's a lot harsher though than tretinoin for me. Maybe that's why I'm so fine with glycolic acid and tretinoin because I really put that a dapoline on. Um, and I loved a dapoline. 
and I still love it. I think it's a great product. It's super cheap. When people tell me I don't have a lot of money for vitamin A, I just immediately go, well, then go get a Dapoline, Differin. It's pretty much the same thing and it's gonna be great for your skin. So there is that as well, or you can use a retinol but I used this. And if you use a retinol, you might wanna use like a niacinamide with it because this has niacinamide in it. I use niacinamide AM and PM. This has 4% niacinamide. I use, in my AM routine, I use a 10% niacinamide. Before I switch to agency though, I use the 10% in the morning and the 10% in the evening. So I also sometimes use a little bit of my tretinoin over it. I do feel like the tretinoin cream even though it's a lighter cream, I love, I love just the tretinoin cream. I always dot just a little bit around my eyes because I don't use this around my eyes because of the other additives in it. So I always dot a little tretinoin around my eyes after I use my EGF serum. So I use that and then I dot a little bit of this around my eyes. I put the, this all over my skin, all over my neck. I use a little bit of this on my um, decollete and then I also use it on my hands. So that's kind of my PM routine, like all the stuff that I do. And then I wait 20 minutes. I wait 20 minutes so that my tretinoin can really sink in and make those changes to my skin. And after about 20 minutes, it's pretty much absorbed into my skin. After I do these, my tretinoin, and I wait for that 20 minutes, I add my snail peptide eye cream and I use this just around my eyes and so then I go in with my final moisturizer and when I'm doing tretinoin y'all I use my La Roche-Posay Lipicar Triple Repair Moisturizing Cream. This stuff is amazing. It combats all that dryness from Retin-A. If you want to check out Problems with Retin-A video, it kind of goes over some of that. I'm also in the works. I have a, another video on how to combat dryness with Retin-A because that is a huge thing. There is a lot of dryness when you use a Retin-A, not necessarily a retinol, but when you use Retin-A, vitamin A, you are gonna have dryness and this is, ah, oh, I love it. I feel like it really combats all that dryness, makes my skin feel amazing. When I take it off in the morning, when I rinse it off, my skin feels so like firm and beautiful and soft and luxurious. So I know that that combination is like, Oh, and I have been doing it for years. I've been doing a very thick moisturizer with a tretinoin. And I'm telling you guys, it has tightened my skin beyond belief. So if you really want tighter skin, that's what you wanna be doing. And you wanna be doing it every single night. And how you sleep matters. Okay, so I always sleep with a mask on that's going to stop my face from wrinkling. I try to sleep on my back, but I'm not very good back sleeper. I really like my side a lot. So I'll put that mask in my Amazon store because lot guys, silk pillows and that mask with the eye holes punched out and I'll show you what I mean. It's in my Amazon store. I'll put it under sleep essentials. You need to try it. it I don't have any lines around my eyes, none. And I swear it's because I've been sleeping with a mask for years and I've been sleeping on a silk pillow, even though I always wake up and I'm on my stupid side and I cannot figure out, I cannot figure out how to stop that. So there you have it. That's my PM routine. If you have any questions, put them in the comment box. You know I love answering your questions. I love talking about skincare, period. So send me your emails. Pop those questions in the comment box. I love hearing from you guys. I love hearing how your skin's changing. Keep me updated and get a solid skincare routine. Do it every night. Consistency, consistency, consistency. That is the key to make serious changes in your skin. And I'll see you next time on Globe with Shelly.